these are not the same colors. Turns out what the camera saw was something entirely different. You see, with tungsten and gel, you're bending real full spectrum lights. You get all of the wavelengths all overlapping. And with the gel, you're basically just modifying that curve. Now here is a RGB LED light faking red. It is technically a RGB LAC and it stands for red, green, blue, lime, amber, and cyan. This technology allows for a broader range of colors than the traditional RGB lights, but it's still not there. What it produces is still fake light. I'll show you what I mean. I tried really hard to make these two lights look identical for my eyes. It might look different because I am recording this on a camera, but that's the whole point of the video, that your eyes lie to you, especially when it comes to LEDs. I've rigged a mini LF here, a professional grade cinema camera with accurate color reproduction. So if we have a look here on our results, the right light is clearly orange. The left one is bright red, might shift a little bit towards pink, even though both lights are red for me here in the studio. And that's because LED lights does not have the full spectrum of light. It throws out what it can with the colors that it has and very cleverly uses those colors to try to fill in the blanks. But that's the issue that I have. Our eyes does fill in the blanks, but the camera does not. So our result can vary majorly from what we actually see. But that is why Tim Kang and Aperture's new blur technology comes in. It has seven emitters, way more spectral coverage, and hopefully colors that doesn't lie. I'm looking forward to seeing this new technology. And if you want your mind blown in real life, Tim Kang is actually having a tour with Aperture right now. The Why Eyes Lie tour. I highly recommend it and I would not be making this video if I didn't attend it myself. Tim is a genius and you should go. And I wanted to make one thing clear is that I do not disapprove of LED lights. I just believe that you should know what you're working with and what flaws the technology has so you can be as creative as you want on set without any nasty surprises.